Nathan Haynes. Nathan Haynes is a very clever fellow who knows almost everything there is to know about science and technology, but he's also a very gifted story writer, and uh, and he's going to do something special today. He's going to actually read a poem for us in Old English, and he's created subtitles so you can follow along underneath. Would oh, you like gosh, to read his biography? I will. I'll just share. It's so interesting, his biography. I've been one of the great things about David's Thursday night storytelling group is that there are some very outstanding individuals on those nights and so privileged to know Nathan Haynes. Nathan is a science fiction and fantasy writer, a German translator and public speaker. He's traveled the world talking about Ubuntu, that's Linux, and has written an easy to read book on the computer operating system. Besides being a techie, Nathan is a lover of language. He speaks and translates from German as well as Old and Middle English, and he can tell you almost anything about astronomy. And yet, Nathan still uses a fountain pen. Nathan Haynes runs his own star-bound publishing, where he provides publishing services and consulting to independent authors. Nathan's published books and stories include Beginning Ubuntu for Windows and Mac Users, third edition. Congratulations. Another book called Under, Fireflies of the Heart. Oh, <laughs> that a toast to being human. God bless you. And the English translations of the novels from the X universe, beginning with Farnham's legend. Well, you're a gift to our universe, Nathan Haynes, and we're looking forward. David said you're going to tell the fall of Numenor in the original Old English by J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend Ryan Reisman, who's here, who's my first reader for my own books. And uh, whenever I finish a story and have no title in mind, he always has the perfect title. Uh, last uh, year, I told the original story. I wrote a story for the salon, A Toast Being Human. And he was like, what's the title? I'm like, I have no idea. Uh, it's a disaster. And he said, how about this? And it was fine. I workshopped it and he was right the first time I was at. So uh, thank you so much. He's recording this for me for my posterity. Um, so in high school, I was fascinated by the Lord of the Rings and the Silmarillion. And afterward, I began to study Tolkien's unfinished works. He wrote some of the earliest versions of his stories in Old English. Now, languages evolve, but I couldn't recognize even a single word when I came across this story. And the idea that these stories were right there, just out of reach, was tantalizing and infuriating. It made me want to study early, early English. It also made me want to write my own stories. So, of course, my college didn't teach Old English, and it's not like you can drive down to Santa Monica or San Diego and order a pizza in Old English. But I knew, this is a simplification, uh, that English and German were originally the same language. So I did what I hoped was the next best thing. I studied German in college and I learned to write stories and casually I studied early English along the way. Now, after 15 years, a couple of years back, my German was decent, but three translated, translated novels later and a total of 350,000 German words translated later, my German is much better than it was five years ago. Now that's helped my old English too. 
So last year I picked up that Tolkien story that captivated me that I couldn't read. I picked it up again. Now Tolkien, if you've ever read Lord of the Rings, Silmarillion, it get, he gets complicated really fast. So let me set this up. In the first two ages of Middle Earth, the world was flat, it was created flat. The humans that fought alongside the elves at the end of the first age were rewarded by the gods with long life and a large island in the west, western sea called Númenor. And their leader, Yerndel, was made the king of Númenor. The Númenorians became mariners, and things were pretty great for them. The only place they couldn't visit as they sailed along was the paradise in the far west where the gods and the elves lived. But they could come as close as the elves harbor on the Lonely Isle. After centuries of this, the Numenorians started forgetting their own traditions and became jealous that the elves were immortal. And well, that's about where the story begins. To think that Tolkien could write a story like that in a language that hadn't been spoken in 900 years when he was writing this in the 30s and 40s was like magic. So imagine my surprise a year ago when I went back to read this story that just piqued my interest 15, 20 years ago, and I could now read it and understand it in Old English. To me, that was more magic. So now, with the help of subtitles, I hope I can share something of that magic with all of you. So in the original Old English, this is The Fall of Numenor by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yalissa in Wolverde, he overleeren. So don he nust on fat. Ak ere wolde hire hilt westward. For thump the hilf hungre de wolder, dar un deliche blisse dar edalie. And swa hire wolder wilks, swa ere hire langum, and hire un stillness wolder da ma atticht. Da for boldum, da er dan him un ere se up. Tokomene, for them he many she were on and deadly che. And the achter the world end him long as leaf as uthon, ne michthon he alluse on he of thar a world madness, there an yale men er at an ende thar. And he swult on, ert ne hira hiakunigas, yarnless a phenomenon. And here leafak sucht er them eldum short. For that he swore you fear in a rare, se al mihtia, that he self on shorn, and his world yuvan, a ki on gunan mokmion, saidon, that does forbode him on richtsuchte. Don on die ye ascend on his sheer weathers and avlum, da turn and lare that are eldent to as merian me. Ne funen der now than a rune in a rad, the him to bot. He did lump see them. That's a fool the devil was staying the alf wina folk sarah name wax with them in the yard. And he yak so the west war and meat and wooder, and that he could hold the wear and go on goon on unup heavenly to swap the ach. Now you hear the west war and a coon at his salad and besarun. At he wold a cuning beyond with a yal and cuning. And here the can stall hab and wold a thorn eral and delas yafer a suit achte. Don send a hay to callion se cuning. Boot on where then the reader or the eldener. His iron dragon to sarony. A beard him that he has on offste on west fold and quome. There told us Königes man radine to Buganne. And he saw on duty end, yad med the him that he quom. Was there in wit for under, fuck this whole gold was west war the theory. Da quom up at sultum, sumum, cur and romelon that are here. And sooner at well the fornean yal that numinolition with wundrum. And talk to me. For them, he mich the mutual, ye dwemerum, and three craftum. And he walk to mitchen and ear, and am here munte, the menotia, 
and the sage and hail from the heart day. Say there ach was una wheel, do run da halig nest do hide room here, and there on side on una send each and lark and un hagium well for them. Swak from the death shiver and was far in the land. Last so for fairly year, big a lamb that a calione worth udra and say. And do worth he horn mole, and dark wolde hebe sarnus on bearden, avalon mit fure ye faran, but thumped the saron him side, that the elden him on war etches leafes for wooden. Where on west waren a ship fure, swas for un army met leech eland and arase. And here, masters, you leech a fig and beamum and beorchlithum. And here, hercumber, you leech a thunor wocknum. Where on here, sell blood red and black. Nu sit the way an eleland. And the good that are blissing the ear was. And nu shall eft cum and never. O sweet they on the death show. Woch. With their world. Fern is the new land. At that, that the Kalyonis for young and rislachtum, that he on that land of Stigan, and he there do and meet an evil on a tenant turn on that bird. The cross sorry, Osform, and he bade him to them and meet Ian, and by that sheep in his red and lever. On where fed wet, bold do ye shake? With oath yard from the oath on a sundros, and meet you after under a tilde of medium gar sage, be eastern and a tie. And thus say, do for me the rein on that yen. Or with a beachte dar a cross and the wet were wet, yall bidding yard a fuel. And dar a wet ye fall at the throes and stank up of heaven. O fertar ekre munta herdu. Der verwunnen jal westfarne schipo, en drank mit him jal der folk. Verwunnen jak ta kalion se gyrine, an sel beochte edines quen. Ferlen boutu nede swas was dyorn und distro, an de wit und siot mit er man kyuthe. Nicht auf Lodes gelungen an der Thema, an Landes die Runge. An Westfront, wie er nun mir nur hätte, wo er sein Wolf von den Garsages bose. An hier Huder gewahrt. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Nathan. And to imagine that that was English in our history. That's how people spoke. Now. Long, long ago. <laughs> long, long ago. Wonderful. Let